There are three primary forces that exist in any market. There are the traders who believe that price is low. There are the traders who believe that price is high. And there are the traders who are waiting on the sidelines to make up their minds about whether price is low or high. Now, technically this third group, those traders who are waiting on the sidelines, this is more of a potential force or a potential dynamic of the market, but it is still part of the market. And the reason is, is because those traders on the sideline, they could come in at any time, right? So understand that all price movement in the market or lack of movement is a function of the relative balance or imbalance between these two primary forces, traders who believe the price is going up and traders who believe the price is going down. If there's balance between these two groups, then prices will stagnate. They'll trade sideways because each of the sides will absorb the force of the other's actions. And if there's an imbalance between the two sides, that's when price moves in the direction of the greater force. So I want you to ask yourself this question, what, what's gonna stop virtually anything from happening at any time other than you know exchange imposed limits or market shutdowns or markets getting halted? Aside, aside from those things, what is really gonna stop anything from happening at any time? The reality is nothing is gonna stop the price from going as high or as low as whatever force of the side of the traders who believes the most is possible is going to go. And it's really limited only by the most extreme beliefs about what is high and what is low held by uh, actual traders actually participating in the market. Now, keep in mind, there are a lot of algorithms. There are a lot of computers trading now, but remember, that doesn't change anything. That doesn't mean anything different from what I just said, because they are individual people who programmed those computers to trade in a specific fashion based on what they think is low and what they think is high. So there can obviously be a, an extreme diversity of beliefs in any given market and in any given environment. And this diversity of beliefs is what creates the fundamental characteristic of the markets that anything is possible at any time.